सतगुरु महाराज जी की जय सच्चे दरबार की जय थैंक यू ऑल फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन थर्डे फॉर स्पिरिचुअल डिस्कोर्स वेन वी लिव इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड वी वर्क हार्ड एंड वी अकम्पलिश समथिंग वी फील प्राउड वी फील दैट वी हैव अकम्पलिश्ड समथिंग इन अवर लाइफ सो वंस देर वॉज अ किंग हु वॉज वेरी प्राउड ऑफ वट ही हैज डन इन हिस लाइफ He has expanded his territories, his boundaries. He has taken and ruling more land that he began with. And he was proud. His name, his fame spread throughout many territories. And he wanted to gain more. He wanted something else in life. He had hunger to accomplish more. but yet he was satisfied with what he has done in his life he had kids he had queens he had ministers and great advisors and and so much of army under him but always he had three question in his mind that always revolved and came about all the time so one day he called his advisors he called his ministers and asked them these three questions and what were those questions he said what is the most important time in life who is the most important person in this world and what is the most important thing to do in this world now the ministers and everyone looked towards each other's face and they tried their best to reply some said you the most important person some said it was the most important time when you were crowned as a king and more answers came from different people but the king was not satisfied he listened but they knew that the king is not satisfied so one of the minister was very wise he thought to himself that we are not going to be able to satisfy the king so he suggest to the king that oh lord there is a great saint living up on top of the mountains in our kingdom he is very wise and he's fully realized if anyone can give the right answers to your questions it is him Now I would like to ask these same questions to you. What do you think? What is the most important time in one's life? What who is the most important person in this world? And what is the most important thing that one should do in life? Think these answers to yourself and later on we will see that if your answers match the same answers that the king got now the king listened to the ministers and he sets a date when they're going to go to the mountain and and meet the saint and receive his answers so all the army got together his bodyguards got together ministers prepared themselves the horses and carriages and they started their journey after a long journey they had to go through a jungle and they reached the mountain now they had to climb the mountain but the king said all these soldiers with me all these bodyguards it is not appropriate to greet the saint in this manner so all of you wait down here and i will go to the top of the mountain and i will meet the saint and i will receive my answers from him so the king started climbing it was hard and it took him long time but eventually he was determined and he reached the top of the mountain and there he finds a cave when he enters the cave he sees the saint sitting in meditation not aware of his surrounding so the king sat in front of the saint waited for the saint 
to open his eyes. Few hours went by, but the saint sat still in that position in meditation. And then the king was tired, and the night fell. So the king lay down on the ground and went to sleep, thinking that in the morning he will ask the saint his questions. Morning came, the king got up, and he sees that the saint is not there. So he comes out of the cave. And the beauty that he experiences around him, the nature, the birds chirping, and standing at the edge of that cliff, he sees his kingdom so far away, extending even beyond his sight. He felt proud that he had accomplished something in his life that his life was meaningful, that he did something that others weren't able to do. Every morning in his kingdom, he would wake up to chaos. All these people running to him with all the problems, with all the issues in the kingdom and the worries and stresses. But this morning, he got up to a peaceful morning. But while he was feeling proud and he was calm, all of a sudden he feels a tap on his shoulder. And when he turns around, there standing the saint holding king's sword in his hand. The saint put the sword to the heart of the king and said, King, you thought you have accomplished so much in your life. You feel proud that you have extended the boundaries of your kingdom so far away. You feel that you are so great. And here you come with these three questions. Here, let me give you the answer. And saying that, the saint pushed the sword in king's heart. The king felt the pain, started to bleed and he fell on the ground. Slowly, he lost consciousness, and then he sees himself dying. He see himself coming out of this body. And at that moment, he saw what he has accomplished in his life, which was nothing. At that very moment, all that he had gathered, all the treasures that he stored up in his vault, all the relations that he had, all the army and the soldiers that he had, all the power and the name and the fame that spread in all directions in his life meant nothing to him. At that very moment, everything, his whole life, his whole hard work of his whole entire life slipped through his fingers and he kept moving away from his body. And at that moment, darkness started to engulf him and the fear and the regret and remorse he felt at that time, no one can understand unless you feel that yourself. And eventually the darkness engulfed him so much that he could not see anything and he screamed so loud out of pain and regret that his eyes opened and he sees that it was just a dream. When he opened his eyes, the saint sitting right next to him, looking at him, gazing upon him, seeing what he was seeing, feeling what he was feeling, extended his hand and said, Son, get up. And with that divine voice when he heard, he knew that it was saints doing. To make him understand, to receive the answers that he seeked, the saint asked him, have you understood? 
have you learned have you realized the answers that you were seeking and with great humility and shame the king bowed down to the holy feet of that saint and asked for forgiveness and asked for guidance and asked for the knowledge through which he can actually accomplish something in his life that will go with him at that moment the king realized that the most important time is the present time in which you can do things that will shape up your destiny that will shape up your future that will shape up the journey of the soul that it's here to accomplish the most important person in this world is no other than yourself this body without this body one cannot uplift their consciousness one cannot merge back with the ocean one cannot eliminate the ignorance and the arrogance and the illusion that the mind dwells in without this human body one cannot free themselves from the karmas that we are bound to and what's the most important thing to do in this life and in this world is to collect that light the moment he was moving away from his body after death great and dense darkness engulfed him and he could not see anything and when he asked the saint what that meant the saint replied that is the most important thing one should do and needs to do in life and that is to collect light in their heart to collect that divine light through meditation so when you do leave this world when you do leave this body the sun will not mean anything to you the electricity that provides us light will not mean anything to you at that moment only the divine light that you have collected through meditation will help you at that time only that divine light will guide you towards your destination so the saint said son even though you have accomplished so much in this world yet when you will leave this world you will go empty handed and great regret remorse and pain will exist and at that moment nothing can be done but you are blessed that these three questions took birth in your mind and you came to me and with god's grace i was able to give you this second chance i was able to give you this realization it is like a second chance in life now you know what to do in life and what is worth gathering so my dear friends the three answers that you had answered in your mind earlier on do they match the answers that the saint gave to the king if those answers not same then we need to reflect greatly upon our own life and see which direction we are headed in the things that we do in our life do they hold any real meaning that does not mean we should not work that does not mean we should not take care of the family that does not mean that we should not enjoy life but that does definitely mean that we need to do something more and beyond than that because all of that is good here in this world but none of it will help us when we leave this world when we depart from this body at that time all of it will not mean anything to us and it will not be able to help us no matter how much power we have no much how much treasures and money and land and properties we have collected no matter how many relations we have and no matter how powerful we are in this world 
at that moment only you and god will exist only you and your good deeds that you have performed in life will exist only you and the divine light that you have collected inside through meditation will exist nothing else so dear friends you are the most important person in this world because in this human body you can accomplish something so great and you can free your soul from the bondages the present moment is the most important time in your life no matter how many great things happen in your life you got married you had kids you had great job you won the lottery no matter what it is but the present moment is the most important time in your life because now you can shape your future and the third answer collect that divine light but before you can collect you must find a realized master a saint a realized soul a ascended master who can open your third eye and make you witness that divine light in your own heart and your own body and give you a technique through which you can meditate on that light and collect that light in your heart through the collection of that divine light your consciousness will rise your heart and body will purify your thoughts will purify you'll be able to rid the negativity from the mind you'll be able to gain control over the mind and you will move toward your real destination so dear friends reanalyze your life reevaluate your life today and see which direction you are headed and if you look really deep within your heart and your mind you will realize that we are not as powerful as that king we don't have as much treasures as that king had so if he cannot take anything from this world neither will we so focus on yourself focus on the present moment and focus on that divine light within find a saint receive that divine knowledge experience that divinity within yourself and then sit and meditate and collect the treasures that will go with us when we do leave this world so dear friends continue performing good deeds in your life have compassion and kindness in your heart and meditate and collect the divinity and divine light in your heart so we do not leave this world empty handed so with this i would like to conclude my thoughts thank you all for joining in today continue meditating continue elevating and until next time god bless